Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me. And also while you're at it, you should join the Discord because we do help out everyone there. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty nice. Um, so today in this video, we are going to be talking about functions. Now, um, before we get into this, lastly, we just left off with um, basically scripts and variables and introduction to all of that. So if you haven't go watch those videos, I'd recommend going and watch them because uh, they will help you out a ton for this video. And um, yeah, you everybody will like them. So let's hop right into this. All right. So we're basically talking about functions right now. Functions are basically instructions that can be repeated throughout a script. And kind of unlike variables, they can be used to repeat many lines of code. They can basically be used as many times as you want, and they hold a lot of stuff inside of them, and you will only have to call it once. That's the really main deal with these functions. Um, you can use them through uh, events, um, triggered, and you can create variables that will include functions in them. It, it's really nice. Um, so there's not really a difference between a local function and a global function so this is okay so let me just call this right now um local function you know touch whatever that's just one local function and then the normal function would just be like this now there isn't this is already repeated so i'll just uh do that now there isn't too much of a difference rather than um if you are going to use this in one script or not um so local is only meant for one script um, and then global is meant for any other script. Now, I'd really recommend just using local um, or just not typing anything, but local function works perfectly because you normally you just use functions in one script. Um, it doesn't really happen too often outside of scripts, but it still happens. Um, and there's a lot of things we're going to be learning about today, but not think too crazy because in the next video, we're going to be talking about events, which is really nice. So, getting to this um let's get started now there's gonna be a f uh, pretty easy thing we can do um we're gonna go through um a basic local script and we are going to do a uh basic like let's call it a global script <laughs> so basically let's do this so we're gonna do two examples okay we are going to do a function for a part, which is going to change transparency. So let's do this right here. Um, and then we're gonna go like this and we're gonna close it off like that. And um, yeah, so that's about it. And we're gonna do a few things. So there's a lot of ways you can do this. You could just go in here and you could go um, like this, but first we need to create a part. So let me go to workspace and just create a part right here. All right, and you could do a few things. You could just be like uh, game dot workspace dot part dot transparency equals one. Okay, now this isn't called yet, so there wouldn't be anything here. But if we were to print and we'd say, okay, uh, change transparency, and then we would go like this. This is how you call it. See how it has a little function on it. It says it is noticed, um, and this is a global as I can show you. And you'll know um, you can do it local whatever works um, and basically this is what would happen so we're calling it one time it is going to do the whole function right here now if we hit run you will see that the part is gone and it said and change transparency and output so that's one way of doing this though the thing is there's a thing there's things called parameters and with parameters, it basically makes the function dynamic. And by that, it means you can change it basically different. You can make it differently different every time. Um, so by doing that, we would do something like this. OK, so we would say, let's say part and then transparency as our parameters. And we would say part dot transparency like this equals transparency. And then what we would do depending on how you call the function. Now remember, so this isn't, let's just say this is gone. Nothing's gonna happen. But if we type it in and we were to just leave this blank, nothing's gonna happen because we have these two parameters right here. But if we get these parameters by doing this, game.workspace.part, like that, comma, and then you can type a variable, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, anything like that. 
Now remember, in our last video, we talked about variables. So you could do this instead as well. You can do local part equals game dot workspace, and you can even do wait for child part. And once you do that, then you could uh, also close this out, and then you could put, I mean, you could delete that and put part, and you can put 0.5, or you can go another thing saying like transparency val equals uh, 0.5, and then you could replace this as well right here. So there's basically, these are parameters, but basically look like variables, as you can tell. Then, um, that's that's basically how it would work, but see how it's already gray? We would wanna, let's just say we would wanna say um, this like this, so new part, um, and actually we wanna put this right here, and then let's put new in front of this as well. Um, now, you can tell that this is blue right here, um, the reason for this being is because we don't like it Roblox doesn't really know what this is until we actually run it and this may not be um, part of the properties but we know that an actual part does have properties called transparency so that's why we're doing that so now if I were to run it it's going to do the exact same thing but change it to 0.5 as you can tell so um, yeah it disappeared because it wasn't anchored so that's my fault <laughs> but um, that's basically how that works. So this is a simple version of doing a change transparency for um, this. So that's um, that's about it for the global function. And um, we can talk about another one, which is kind of talking about, um, let's say for player added. So we're gonna do a whole nother thing again. Let's add some variables. So we're gonna do local players equals game um, get service and then we're gonna go players. Okay, we're gonna try that. So this grabs every game per player in the game So players and then dot Player added so this kind of talks about events which we're gonna talk about in the next video But um, I kind of just want to explain to you guys again. So this is gonna be a whole function right here um, now Basically what's gonna happen is it will print for you the player if you do this so player dot player name um, wait player sorry and then you're gonna go right here and do player dot name so this is kind of going on to the next video about events because this is player added but then this is a function right here as in sync connect um, this should be a remote function is what I should be saying but um, right here we have the parameter like last one and then when we print it it should put the player name now um, if I hit play instead of run it will probably uh, put my name yep and it puts twin plays dev so that's pretty much it for this video nothing too crazy um, but like I said there is a lot of ways you can do this and when it comes to longer functions the reason being is you want to make you want to have them because it will help you later on they will um, get so much longer that like it will uh, be a pain in the butt not to manage it so you can put anything in here filling down you know you could go as far as you want just going all the way down just filling it up and then you could call it literally one time and you're good um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial it's nothing too crazy just really talking about the basics of it and um, basically another little thing to keep in mind is uh, yellow is function I guess you could say so with your scripts in your uh, settings you can tell that this is a function yellow and you can call it by doing like um, you know whatever you wanted to do just uh, you just do clicked like this and that will call it for you um, but that's the basics of it so yellow is functions and there's locals and there are global functions nothing too crazy but yeah I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. We will blow it on to um, handling events, remote functions, and yeah, that's about it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.